we never made a claim, we never wanted more money, we didn't want any changes to our conditions. This is an agenda that the state government started and they've been determined to roll it through. I love doing what I do. I have trained in public hospitals throughout this state. I have benefited greatly from the training that I've received from the professionals that are in front of me today. This cannot end too soon for me. I just want to get on with my work and get on with my job and not have to worry about what's happening in the future. They have lost faith in the government and they have lost trust in their employer. Many more will follow and it's the public that's going to lose out. Just as one needs to document the basis for a patient's clinical diagnosis and treatment, so too one should take extraordinary care when introducing organisational change that can affect thousands of employees and the untold numbers of patients who rely on them. are the heart of the Queensland public health system. But by forcing them onto unfair contracts, they'll leave and we'll all suffer. Keep our doctors. We can't afford not to. The government is trying to force us to sign unfair contracts that take away our rights to best serve our patients, our students and therefore the community as a whole. Regional centres are absolutely dependent on their local big hospital and if you've lived in the region you know how true that is. My name's Anna Militech and I'm from Sippy Downs, Sunshine Coast. My son um, was born with a rare disease. Um, he was in the Royal Children's Hospital from the age of 12 weeks. Um, he has a, a condition called IPEX. He sees 13 different um, specialists at the Royal Children's. He's almost 20, he'll be 20 this year, and actually moving to the Nambour Hospital. Um, yeah, he's alive because of their expertise.